Hello, in this Kotlin programming video, we are going to look at the map collection. Map collection allows you to store data in a key value pair. So you specify not only the values that you want to store, but the keys in which you will, you know, access those values as well. The keys have to be unique because otherwise, how, you know, does, you know, Kotlin know which value you're trying to retrieve? So let's create a basic implementation and I'll call this map and equals. So equals, uh, I'll show you the generic sort of interface first. So you do the name of the map, you put map, and now you put the actual data type that you want for your key, then the data type that you want for your value. So I'm gonna put integer or int for my key, and then I'll put string my value and i'll show how you can mix and match in a moment as well when you use the keyword map of i need curly brace i mean the angle brackets here int string and now here is where i actually have my key value pairs so if i say one two quotation marks i'm gonna say hello so this means if I try and access the value at index one, we'll get the value hello, which is a string. If I want to put another one, you just put comma and do the same. It doesn't have to be successive. So as in, it doesn't have to be one, two, three, four. I could put 20, for example, two, and in here I could put world. And again, it doesn't even have to go up. It could be you know, five now. So as you can see, let me just finish this off. Hello world, uh, I'll just put quotation marks here, not quotation, exclamation marks, exclamation point I should say. So as you can see, I've done 125. So there's a lot of flexibility with this. And let me show you how to essentially just print it out. So to print it out, so if I do print line, we can print line by doing map, square brackets, and then we can do we can do the actual well key so if I put 20 run it and what do we get we get a value of world which is stored at 20 so, that, so that's you know pretty cool pretty simple stuff now I want to show you how we can essentially loop over the entire higher map if maybe we want to print it all out or go over it for some reason we can do that with a for loop so a for loop like so and what we want to do is for every key in map.keys so we gain every key then what we can do is actually here i'm pretty sure you can guess we could either do print line map and then put key here or we can use the dot get method, which is print, or not print line is just what we're doing with it. The actual key pie is map dot get. And if I specify the key itself, which is what we retrieved here, we'll print as essentially hello, then world, and then the exclamation point. So scroll back, let me increase the size of this a bit. So as you can see, we have all of it printed out and we've essentially looped over it. Okay, so now I wanna show you how to create a map with no specifics in terms of the key value pair data types. So I'm going to do var, and I'll call this non-generic, because that's what it is, it's the non-generic interface. And for this, you just put equals map of and now you just start specifying you know, the key value pairs. So if I put 10 to 5, for example, so 5 is stored at the index 10. Put comma, maybe I'll put hello as the key this time. And I'll say to world. And you, you can see the picture where I'm going with this. So I won't add any more, but the principle for adding more is the same. And I'll just do a for loop. I'll copy this and instead of doing instead of doing dot get 
I'm just going to do the square brackets just to demonstrate that in a for loop. I'll take this opportunity to you know demonstrate the different versions, and I'll just do an empty print line here and here, just so we can see where one ends and one starts in our console. So if I run this. Okay, so let's see what we get. We get a five and world. So now we've used the non generic interface, and the non generic interface have essentially allowed us to be able to create key value pairs with no particular data type in mind. I would overall recommend this one, the generic interface, simply because. It sort of creates a bit of predictability. You know what you have to be doing. If you want the, if you want extra flexibility, you do have that non-generic interface. There's a bunch of methods for essentially doing the same thing. We've got, we've got the dot get for gain a value. We've got the square brackets for gain a value. You can do dot get value as well. You can. There's also a bunch of other methods like dot contains, which I think you can guess. It checks if it contains a particular index and there's a bunch of other stuff as well you can check it contains a key contains a value and that as in like there's so many you know functions that you can use you can use stuff to be adding the elements together what i'm going to do is because we've covered the basics of maps in this video i'm going to provide another link which shows you the extra advanced features of the map collection if you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message, and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.